Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, another episode of Vampire. Thank you to those that joined me on live stream live chat and those watching on YouTube after. I would like to thank those that have liked and commented on my videos. I would like to thank those that have subscribed and exploited my channel on other media platforms. Let's get into this episode. Hope you enjoy. Let's get this. Alright chat, thanks for sticking with me and those on YouTube, welcome as well. Um, basically we just got done with talking with um, Edgar and finding out we he was talking with some vampire hunters. And now we got to find Sean Hampton and try to figure out what's going on with that. So find our way today. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Yeah, as he said, we're gonna go to the docks. <laughs> uh... Disgust on every street corner. Oh yeah, Maybe this was what happened. What on earth happened here? This is where she got attacked. Right? Looks grisly. Try and get this there. Small bag of junk. That was like useless. You know what? That's the funny part. You know how they say vampires don't have reflections? Why does he have a reflection? Right? <laughs> I guess it all depends on the game or the movie, I guess. But that's messed up. Damn. Wonder if he knows something about it. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Can you tell me anything about recent events at the hospital? Before the shouts and the noises, I think I heard whispers coming from the stairs. Two voices, maybe more. Did you recognize the voices? What did they say? I couldn't hear. Sounded like they were arguing or something. Okay, so we can, uh, basically do that. Uh-oh. There's, I guess we didn't do that one? How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best. Aren't you uh, afraid? She's quiet. Sorry, we already did that one. I don't know why it was highlighted. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. All right. On every street corner. Good evening, Miss Howard. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Is there anything you can tell me about the recent commotion here? Many things can happen under cover of night, Doctor Reed. But I took no part in this massacre. But did you see or hear anything? I can't say I did. But the smell of fresh blood almost made me faint, Doctor. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Alright. Maybe she might know. Good evening, Good Nurse evening. Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Everybody's afraid. Death has always been a frequent visitor. But murder? How can we cope with that? As a nurse at this hospital, it is your duty to deal with these things as best you can. Yeah. Until it's my turn to have blood spread all over the walls. I entered the room first, Dr. Reed. I've seen what that monster did to the woman. Who was the monster, though? Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Oh, wait. Is that why we're going after Sean Hampton? I couldn't remember from last episode, chat. What the heck? You seen that too? The glitch with uh... What's his name? The male guy? 
Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. What can you tell me about the recent events in the hospital? That Mr. Hampton killed Miss Jones in her room, then ran away. And did you see all this? No. I was working by the tents when it all happened. I only entered the room when they asked me to clean up the blood. Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. So we gotta go to the morgue and check it out. Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette exiting the hospital gates after the shouting started. At first I thought it was someone who was just scared, but... Well, maybe it was him? Nothing new. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. So by the stairs over here was the argument. See what she thinks. Wait, that's... They said by the morgue. This person's dead here. Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman. Butchered by some savage scal. Can we share this meal? <laughs> Everything dies. It's par I'm partially responsible. Yes, and I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scal, I brought him here. Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. Uh... Have you killed this woman? Why would I ask that? What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was huge. He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather outdoing his master's bidding. Ah. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. Then what does he mean by conduct? I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Some people don't. Have you embraced this woman like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield? Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life unless they ask. Blood quality of the sick, Ritz blood is appealing. Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. <laughs> the way he said it. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. I'd go after bad people. You know what I mean? 
Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. See what he has. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Yeah. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Someone killed Miss Jones in her room, and Mr. Hampton's gone missing. Doesn't take a genius to piece it together. You don't seem shocked by any of this. Why should I be? Whoever did this must be long gone by now. And besides, he got rid of the old bag. Wow. Nothing new there. Goodbye, Milton. All right, anything else? That doesn't open. Nothing near there because that's when she took his life. What about this guy? This is going to be a douche. <laughs> hey, Doc. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? All I know is I ain't letting anyone rip my throat out in my sleep. I found myself a nice play, Doc. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh... Oh, okay. Am I right to assume your wife's letter pissed you off, Clay? I was so mad I threw away the knife she got me when we got married. Your wife gave you a knife as a wedding present. That knife has always been my lucky charm. If I'd had it in my hand when I got stabbed on that pier, I'd not have been wounded. Do you want it back? Do you want it back? I don't need it here, but if you'd be kind enough to bring it to me, I'd be really grateful. A grateful Clay Cox? I might just find your knife and bring it back to you to see that happen. I can give you directions, but I'd be surprised if you managed to find it. My hideout isn't meant to be found easily. A lucky charm. I never would have taken you as the superstitious type. We all have our flaws, Doc. Mine's to have my weapon of choice for when the really dirty business comes around. Well, I already have your knife, so... What can you tell me about your marriage, Clay? Marriage is the sweetest cage, they say. Well, I found myself locked in one with a wild animal. You mean your wife keeps you on your toes? No, I mean, we both have claws and we both love to bite. <laughs> both feisty. All right, I'll, I'll go. leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Oh, crap. Is this supposed to be an hospital? A pig star is Oh, Bam. wrong button. So, basically for him, we have everything. Let's get his knife. <laughs> hey, Doc. I have found the gift from your wife. In that case, you'll be properly rewarded, Doc. Clay Cox is a man of his word. I hope that won't make me an accomplice to your future crimes. Who knows what I might do now I feel invincible again. Investigation succeeded. So that means she's done? I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Is this supposed to be an hospital? A pig st Yeah, so we got full blood quality on him. Still need migraine. Migraine. Nobody there. And we still don't know hers yet. Oh, you smell better. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. You doing your rounds as usual? Uh, that's it. I, Goodbye, he doesn't Mr. have Blight. nothing. Take care of yourself. Right. Um, uh, let's get down to him. Yeah, I gotta remember the buttons. I've been playing other games, so it's like... It seems the Prewin are redoubling their patrols in the district. I must be more careful. More careful? 
do that, then. No evil. We do the Lord's work here. Oh, they know I'm up here. Let's just take him out. Over there! There's one of the Really, dude? Um, what was... Oh, they're doing a lot more damage. That's crazy. Oh yeah, they're right. There's a lot more and that guy's powerful. I need to get out of here. Ooh. Yep, that did not work out, chat. <laughs> Apparently everything did get more powerful. Right, I need to start using my um, special stuff more often. Alright, um, I died, where, <laughs> where did I die? Alright, yeah, we're going this way. And I died going this way. Watch out. Over the because of this guy. It's the bullets that get me. Oh wait, I think this is a dead end, ain't it? Come on, what is going on? This guy has... How did he grab me like that? Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy chat like Is this why they say I need to start like taking people out? But when should I start taking people out, chat? Like, what's his name, right? So... Wrong one. So... The part... I'm confused about right now is like, okay. Got Clay C Cox, right? He's in no relationships right now. But he has a wife. Right? So if I go to his wife... It's not her. Right, yeah, Edwina. His circle is, is Booth Digby. 
So, like, if I go to Cox now and I take him out, does it mess with anything? You know what I mean? Oh, so their circles are right next to each other. Okay. Yeah, so let's try to get to Hampton. As... So we gotta go down here. Yeah, there's no fast travels, chat. So I need to go straight and then right. Over there! There's one of them birds! I'm running, that's the pop. How is how are they so fast though? Then right. How is she shooting? That's what I'm so confused about, chat. And how are they hitting me from that far? You know what I mean? Yeah, I would like to fight them all, but there's so many now. And back over to this area. So I need to go straight. See them fancy clothes? This one's a top. No one cares. What? The? Alright, so I'm away from the fight now. <laughs> wow. Um, just go this way. See if he knows about Hampton. You again. What do you want? Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad sight. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Tom Watts. Nothing new on that. Oh, wait. You know, Tell me up. about the man you killed, Booth. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. No, really. One of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always been done round here. No one gives a shit. <laughs> are you heartless? You are wrong. Someone will kill you. I think you're wrong. Maybe the docks have always been violent. But you can't say the living don't suffer because of it. And then what? Let the commies and the anarchists rule? Nah. We're the wet boot boys. Our fathers died on these docks and they belong to us. Well. I know you're looking for an honest job, Booth. You're tired of this criminal life, aren't you? It's just an idea. Edwina loves to run things so much. You can never really leave the gang. Wet boys for life, you know. All right, that's it for him. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. So, she loves Co Edwina? Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. 
What do you want? Ooh, Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. I sense a soft heart. I'm not that easily shocked. I think you manipulated him. Behind all your crude words and your attitude, I sense romance and a soft heart, Miss Cox. Romance? I have no time for such rubbish. I use Booth like I use everyone else. I was wrong. Dang it. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard, but he didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened, but you executed him anyway. No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. This is our territory, and this is our law. So basically, if you hear, like, I could be like, well, that guy did something to us, and then you just go kill him, even if it's true or not. And your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Dr. Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say? Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Yeah, I messed that up, chat. Apparently... I should have said you were using him. Uh-oh. Mark my words, Miss. These murders are the work of a vampire. A vampire? Whatever do you mean? I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs a catching. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth? Claws? Murders by night? Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, milady. What the? If you're a vampire hunter, you should know I'm one then. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist. And they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. Well, he's a new guy, so... What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor oh boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. 
I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? <coughs> I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. Sorry about that. I had a very bad cough and I muted myself. Um, alright, do you need help? Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. Ah, uh, no. I don't wanna. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. And they also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. What kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. No, he didn't. He's lying. Have you heard of the Guard of Prewan? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> Were you ever tempted to join the Guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. True. So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. That's kind of true. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throckmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there, they have plenty of reasons to hide. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested by a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Wow. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. Goodbye. Okay. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. I totally forgot to... Good evening, Mr. Throckmorton. Dr. Re Medical. Do you need my medical attention, sir? I appreciate your concern, but I'm perfectly fine. Thank you. Okay, that's Goodbye. it. Just gotta see if he was uh, needed help. Not long ago, this sort of mess would have given me a laugh. You still working at this hour? So few clients. Only ever getting... Anything new? Nothing for her. Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. We'll just go straight to Tom, then. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? Why does your waitress feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse, as always. Sabrina is a brave girl, but she can't help feeling in danger. Do you think she has good reason to feel this way? Are you not worried about her safety? Of course I am. The 
truth is, she's tougher than me deep inside. She just has to learn to control it. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pa Uh, I don't know why that was highlighted. Up, uh, like... You know what I mean? Like, bright. Nothing new there... No hints... Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Oh, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. That would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Another hit. The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Alrighty. I should have offered a drink to the boy. Being cursed or not, he's just another lost orphan. Oh, he knows more. He just said it. What about him? Since Good Tom evening, told Mr. me. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Guess Goodbye. Now. And all right, uh, so it's down this way. Is this a new guy? Good evening, sir. I'm amazed you made it back to the docks alone. Good for you. Well, I could say the same about you, young man. More to the point, who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I am Archer Woodbead. Please excuse my assertiveness. I often forget I'm just an old prune. Get. What can you tell me about this part of town? People used to feel safe around here. They had the gangs protecting them. Now all they do is bicker and plot against one another. Missing the good old days, are you not? Trust me, son. The longer you live, the less meaning your existence will have. You need to remember the days you still had beliefs. And what about the gangs? Back in my day, people trusted the wet boot boys. We looked out for the docks and its families. Nowadays, they're just a bunch of greedy fuckers. You were a gang member? I was their leader for a time, believe it or not. Now these bastards act like I'm nothing. Not one of them. They owe me some damn respect. Wow. He used to be the leader. If you were such a respected figure, surely you have many interesting stories about this part of town. You bet I do, but make no mistake, I'm no rat, sir. Some secrets are best left buried. Do you still know anyone? From the old days, I mean. Most of them are dead. I still give Miss Gillingham salutations. She doesn't remember me. She did once like me. Boy, <laughs> she was a beauty back then. Yeah, Miss Gillingham is the one I need to talk to, though. Any remarkable new faces around here? Nobody. Well, there's that boy Rufus the Curse. I like him, despite the reputation he's made since his parents died. Poor little bastard. Wow. Who would you trust around here? The owner of the Turquoise Turtle's a decent fella. Tom's his name. Sean Hampton's all right, too. Don't particularly share his religious views. He's quite devout, if you catch my meaning. The only thing that sucks is that he's tainted. I'm sure a district as colorful as the docks must have plenty of stories about strange visitors and creepy characters. So, you want me to talk about the sewer dog, don't you? If you don't mind. The sewer dog is a bitch. 
appropriately named, an old woman dressed in rags. She has an elegance, though. Despite her ugliness, I saw her once. Scared the life out of me. So it's a woman vampire. I'm looking for a man named Sean Hampton. Can you help me? The sad saint. Even when he was young, his faith and dedication were inspiring. A beacon even, if I may say so. Interesting. But have you spoken to him recently? I spoke with him about my missing son a few days ago. I've not seen him since he was attacked by some drunkard and left the vicinity. Have you always been so bitter? It's not bitterness. It's poorly masked disgust. When everything turns to shit, we all have to eat a spoon or two. Wow. I don't know. What do you think, chat? Because so far I've been, like, very bad at this. I messed up butchering it, his name now, too. Right? Like, I don't want to keep messing up by everything. Oh, all right, chat. So this this guy would be good to uh, take him out once we get everything. Which one should I do though? Yeah, I'm having a tough one on this one. Things will be better in future. These are difficult times. Old people always complain. <laughs> I don't know, uh, these are difficult times. With everything that's happened recently, the war, Spanish flu, I must concede that these are difficult times. A few nights ago, I saw a kid eating a rat. He was right in front of one of those abandoned houses nearby, just chewing on a living rat's insides. See, it's like some of them, like, like this one. Was that the right choice? Or was one of them gonna just get rid of like another hint? Tell me everything you know about the God of Prewin. Andrew never told me what they do. I do know they're vigilantes with military training. Access to some impressive firepower. And what is your personal opinion about the God then? This guard of Prewen is just another gang preying on the young and naive. Preying on people like my boy. I know how it works. I invented it. Tell me about the wet boot boys, Archer. I want to know more. <coughs> we were there for the families and each other. It was us against the world. We were vicious, tough, even cruel. But we were united. You sound like you were some kind of radical union member. Yes. Nowadays, the communists and gangs squabble over pointless territory. 
Sounds stupid when you say it out loud. Why did your son really join the Guard of Prewen? If I believed in a higher power, I'd see this as punishment for my own sins. I deserve it for all the young men I enlisted back in the day. I don't know. You don't believe in God, though, do you, Mr. Woodbeat? So why did he join? Now I think about it. Andrew joined the Guard, not to defy me, but to follow in my footsteps, to make me proud. So your son has left you nothing to explain his actions? No letter or message? Not even a note. I'm a proud man, Dr. Reed. But I would kneel and pray if I thought it would give me my Andrew back. So we got all his. Yeah, we do. He will give me 3,000 XP. And no relationships. Just like what's his name? So the ones with relationships we can do, uh, basically we gotta get them both done before we take them out. Or can we do this without taking any lives? Goodbye, sir. You know what I mean? Like, what's, like, the good ending? Alright, we need to go this way. some guards in there. Can we go up somewhere? So I could jump on these guys. No, I can't. I have to go that way. Yeah, I have to go in that way. Seems like the guard of Prewen is on Sean Hampton's trail, too. So they're gonna keep coming? These little guys? Burn it, boys! I hate leeches! 
Yeah, they're, they're gonna keep coming. I need blood. Oh, they closed the door on me. Kill it all you deserve. Oh, come on. Yeah, they're gonna keep coming. Come on. The guy with the freaking flame. Right? Gotta get rid of the ones that have the most uh, fragile. As long as he stays right there. <laughs> Big guy. There we go. Might as well, you know what I mean? Get some blood back. are deep. The result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. But is it really Sean? That's the question. All right, chat. Um, that was a nice little boss battle. But right now, uh, we're getting near the end of this one. So, those on live stream, stay with stay with me. And for the next one, and those on YouTube, I'll see you on the next one. Have a blessed day. Peace. <laughs>